Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. And so in this video, we will be talking about two systems, but the main focus is going to be on what is now Tropical Storm Lisa. And so before I go into all the necessary details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. And to show your support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video. Alright, and so let us go ahead and kickstart things with what is going on across the Atlantic. And so, uh, on this Outlook map here from the National Hurricane Center, we can see that there are two systems, Lisa and that other disturbance, which is designated as Invest 96L. And so, that disturbance, uh, that newly highlighted disturbance, is uh, going to possibly develop into a subtropical depression or storm as you're going to be heading into the next couple of days. And so, this current located to the northeast of Bermuda so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it on satellites and here we have the system and we're seeing here that uh, most of that activity lies to the uh, north of the center of the system the southern portion is completely vacant of convection so it is possessing some subtropical characteristics however it only has a day to really get itself together because afterwards uh, it is likely to transition into a fully extra tropical system and so if it acquires subtropical storm status then it will occur the name martin which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season so let's see if this is going to become martin it currently has a high 70 percent chance to do so and as a matter of fact this was issued as a special outlook and so uh, let's see if through today it will get itself together even more and be classified as a subtropical cyclone and uh, this is currently not a threat to land Okay, and now let's go ahead and move on to the main and move on to the main trees of this video, which is Tropical Storm Lisa. And so looking at this satellite here of the Caribbean, we're seeing that we have Lisa being quite prominent now, a completely different cyclone than what we saw yesterday at this time. Uh, at this time yesterday, it was near Jamaica. It wasn't looking good, but uh, here we have it now. It is looking a lot better. It's looking like a tropical cyclone, and it is expected to gradually intensify. And so uh, all of the moisture that it is inducing in the region is likely to induce more shower and thunderstorm activity across sections of the Caribbean, uh, including Jamaica. So some additional rainfall is possible across sections of Jamaica today. And... Uh, not a whole lot, by the way, but this is going to be most probable during the afternoon hours. And so uh, Lisa is barreling towards Central America and specifically Belize. And so as such, there are various watches and warnings that are in place. So let's go ahead and now move on to the cone forecast. And so here we have it. And we can see here that uh, that area, that yellow area around the X is the extent of tropical storm force winds. And we see that most of those winds lie to the east east of the center of the system but uh, over time we'll see the system gradually gets itself together even more and have that uh, symmetry in terms of those winds and all of that activity although it is having it in terms of the shower and thunderstorm activity but those tropical storm force winds which are winds that exceed 39 miles per hour lie to the east of the center of it and so as we head to the latter parts of this week Lisa is expected to gradually intensify and it could become a hurricane by Wednesday before making landfall in Belize and so we're seeing all these different colors here and these are different watches and warnings so let's go ahead and talk about them and so a tropical storm watch is in effect for Guatemala from the border with Honduras to Puerto Barrios as well as Mexico from Chetumal to Punta Herrero. So those areas are likely to experience tropical storm conditions within around uh, 48 hours or so, which is the next two days time. And then a tropical storm warning is in effect for the Bay Islands of Honduras and the entire North Coast. And so uh, that means that tropical storm conditions are expected within the next 36 hours for these areas areas and then a hurricane watch that is in pink that is also in effect for the bay islands and for belize coast from north of 
Puerto Barrios to the south of Chetumal. So all these areas here are likely to experience these dangerous conditions, uh, whether it be tropical storm or hurricane conditions. And uh, obviously hurricane conditions are more dangerous. However, uh, in terms of all the rainfall, that is going to be a significant concern because with any tropical cyclone, as I always say in my videos, uh, the rainfall, the water is always the uh, problem when it comes on to those fatalities. It's, also, it's always the main cause of the death that occur because uh, there is that inland flooding persons get trapped and there's also that storm surge and so uh, especially in Belize areas of onshore winds can expect uh, a rise of one to three feet in the normal level of the seawater and so uh, this is because the winds of the storm are going to be pushing that water on shore so those immediate coastal areas are likely to be inundated and so guys uh, if you're in Belize I hope that uh, all is going to be well, but just ensure that you take all the necessary steps to uh, protect life and property because this is not to be underestimated. Lisa is likely to be a weak hurricane, but that doesn't make it any less dangerous. There's going to be all that rainfall, uh, there's going to be that storm surge, and of course, those strong winds. And so uh, once the system makes landfall, though it is expected to rapidly weaken and dissipate. And so uh, on the cone here, we're seeing that uh, it is expected to become a post-tropical cyclone by Friday. Once it's going to be making its way over southern Mexico. And uh, if it does not retain its name and it dissipates, but the remnants move over in the Pacific and re-intensify, then it is likely to... Uh, then in the presence of favorable conditions, it could redevelop into a tropical cyclone and acquire a name from the Eastern Pacific's list. However, if it retains the name Lisa and emerges into the Eastern Pacific and redevelops, then it will keep the name Lisa. So that is what uh, the future of it is. But if it remains in the Atlantic, of course, it's just going to be Lisa over here uh, until it dissipates. And as of right now, Lisa currently has maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour and it is accelerating westward at 14 miles per hour so not a very slow moving cyclone here but what about the conditions up ahead for it is there a chance that we see a lot more intensification than expected well let's go ahead and take a look at uh that right now and so we're starting out with this water vapor loop and the yellows indicate dry air meanwhile we have the whites and those greens within it indicating a lot of moisture and so we have a lot of dry air that is in the vicinity of central america up ahead for lisa and so dry air infiltration is something that tropical cyclones hate so it keeps their intensity at a minimum and that is some good news so uh this is not going to be aiding in any significant intensification of lisa as it is going to be making its way to the coast of belize and so in terms of the wind shear now we have the red lines that indicate unfavorable wind shear uh, the yellow that indicates neutral shear meanwhile the green means favorable shear so lisa is in a uh, region that is favorable now in terms of the wind shear and that is why it is starting to get that symmetry in, in terms of its satellite presentation because it is not in a region of unfavorable wind shear where uh, all that convection is being displaced and the center of the system the low level center is exposed and so next we want to look at this ocean heat content map and when we have those oranges and reds that indicates high ocean heat content and so this is going to be aiding in the intensification of the cycle so uh, very deep warm waters are going to consistently fuel the system as it makes its way towards the west and so if you're in portions of Belize and not just Belize but also the Yucatan and Honduras please ensure that you're preparing for the system because it is going to be bringing some dangerous impacts especially if you're under a watch or a warning and so that is really it for this update of course I'm going to be uh, giving my next update video tomorrow morning so be on the lookout for that but for now guys Stay safe and take all the necessary precautions. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with wise.